Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Plays Games, back again with another Ark Survival Evolved World Tour. Today we're taking a look at some tech gear. Finally, someone's actually come up with something really unique. Nick has got a little PvP area here, um, just a little base, his personal base and an idea. But what he's going to show us in a minute is his Halo-inspired tech arena, which is really, really cool. Nick is a good friend of mine. He's been supporting me for such a long time. In fact, he's one of my oldest subscribers. So big shout out to Nick. Nick could pretty much do the show on his own so I'm going to just let Nick guide you through everything that he wants to show me on his base um, couldn't get an edge word in edgeways but that's why I love him so I'll see you guys soon and I'll see you at the back end of the video cool then and once you go up the top of this uh, ramp thing yep yeah, coming and you can see the actual base inside it looks right awesome I think that's the one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I've got these on like two seconds and then they just close. It's cool, mate. I've not seen anyone do anything like this with a tech and... Uh, yeah, and if you look else. up, look, look at these these uh, things. And the, each one of them is a, like, home, a house or something. Like, like a, a three by two it is. If you look up, look, it looks great cool, doesn't it? This yeah, guy yeah, did yeah. it, but he did it smaller. He did it like one up instead of doing it like this. And I, I figured out how to do it like this, it looked right awesome, so I thought, oh cool. And then you go up one, I think, which one, oh, which ladder is it? Oh, it's this ladder, where you go straight up. But you can go up each ladder on the, uh, like, triangle bits there, look, as well. So you can get up each way, or you can just blast up if you've got tech. Because obviously on PvP you'd have it all metal, wouldn't you? Or, yeah. um, tech walls and stuff like that, or whatever you want. This is just an example of what you do, look. Is how big it is inside. Look, three by two. So you could have like storage in there, crafting, anything you want, and that. I've even got a. Bl I've even got one of these. Look as well. The industrial forges in as well. <laughs> That's cool, mate. I'm really haven't shrunk them yet. I'm really impressed. It looked really yeah, I like, was like professional. I was like, awesome, man. Like a PVP area, you know, a really good sort of starter yeah, base. Got crafting. You know what this would be really good for? If you can make like a duplicate of this, having like two tribes go to war. But they start off with like this kind of already made up for them, and so then they've just got to focus on actually fighting each other, so or getting the resources. Yeah, you can get like a. So I've got like a, a thing bobby in here. So yeah, look, I've got like a barrier thing, a shield thing, a force field. So all I have to do is turn that on. It's massive. The shield. I shall turn it on. It's massive. It encumbers the old uh, base and everything. Yeah, I bet. And I've got one out of the back as well. But it doesn't encumber all the base because uh, you can only have so many in one place, can't you? So. Yeah, yeah. He's got I've just got the tech shields gap. or tech generators and that. And this, the, yeah, that's bit. That's by bridge with a uh, uh, greenhouse bridge and that. So that's kind of cool. Like a drinking area, it looks right cool. Yeah, like it's a, cool. And it, it's got a view of the uh, volcano as well, right over there. <laughs> it's really good, Nick. I've really got good. lights as well. Yeah, here I've just got the flags, the uh, red, because it's red versus blue, like Halo inspired, so. I just put it's some things really so you can cool, eat Nick. before or after. Really cool, mate. I'm and, well then, and then when you jump up, when you jump up, boom. That is awesome. amazing, mate. Yeah, this it is... took me about only a couple yeah. hours to do this, and it's like about 25 wide. And about, I don't know how long it is, but. <laughs> It was it was smaller than this, but that's the middle bit, you know, like in Halo, and then I've got two things either side. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's just red v blue, and I thought, oh, I might as well just paint it all because it's horrible when it's silver into it, blindness yeah, it of the sun. The sunshine, I think. No, mate, it's really cool. I could well imagine doing something <clears> like this. We'll have to definitely do it. We'll have to get some people on. Yeah, we we can like go each side and and go straight through the doors, which is the the. the uh, Dino gates what I put there instead of just putting normal. We should definitely there. make it like capture the flag, like where you'd have like the enemy base flag, where you got to capture their flag and bring it back to your base. Yeah, by putting putting one in a box, couldn't you? Like a flag or something, and then yeah. Or what if you had a teleporter? Put it and jump it on the side. If you had a teleporter in each section, so that you the idea was you get the flag, and that's how you know someone's won mm -hmm. because they'll have teleported first with the flag. It could even not. It, it wouldn't even be a flag. It would be the actual tech stuff you need to teleport. 
That's why I made it because I thought and nobody hasn't done this yet. I'm, I think I'm the first one. I think to do yeah, this yeah, yeah. as I'm... big as this and as as, as like Halo like this, like yeah, Halo yeah. and that. So definitely. I thought I'd leave some of the rocks in there. I, I use re fertilizer to like grow the rocks out. It's just a weird thing in it that they put in the game, which is kind of cool. So. Yeah, yeah, no, it adds to it. It definitely adds to it. I like it, mate. It's a great. Yeah, because I thought it looked great, awesome, and natural, and that, like like Halo is, and that with all the rocks everywhere, so you can hide behind them and. I think if we work no, on that idea of the teleporter, I think that'd be a really good way to just um, oh, no, get it working. Track him up. I'm walking around now on the ground, just making it light, see what it'd be like running around it. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of big, but it's not. I think you can have like three by three v three or four v four at least. But I don't know if you can do any more than that. But you'd have to use like non-tech stuff so that yeah, you don't, yeah. Definitely. So it's not OP and that you know, say like machine guns and no. crossbows or. Why Put a few little chests like in places with a little one like special gun. So like just like maybe yeah, just one sort of a uh, bazooka with one shot in it, and put that in a, on both locations so everyone can get to it. A bit like Gears of War. Yeah, or I could just yeah, where well, I could just put like weapons everywhere instead. You have to go and get the weapons and stuff. That'd yeah. be cool, wouldn't it? Or something. Like put them in the blue bit and then or the center or whatever in different places. That'd be cool then. I think it's a great idea, isn't it? I well took done, all the mate. bushes out. Yeah, I thought I thought it would be because I was like, oh, I was thinking, oh, what about a Halo style thing? Because because my base at at home at this uh, at where we just been now, I just thought, oh, that'd be cool to do like a tech type Halo ar arena thing or whatever you call it. No, mate, I think uh, I like it's this really rocks. original, really original. I'm not yeah, I just put this like this. foundations here and. I'm already imagining yeah, I'm not even calling it Halo. YouTube do it. Like a thumbnail with just like Halo in arc. <laughs> Halo evolved. Yeah. <laughs> Halo arc evolved to something. <laughs> I wanna just get a nice shot. Or was a T Rex gun buck wild or something? I'll have to put it so that structures can't be destroyed in that as well. Yeah, yeah. If I can do that. I don't know how you do it, I can't remember. I'll have to watch your videos or something. Yeah. So I can't remember how you do it. It's damage structure PVE. Reduce it all the way to the left, I think. <laughs> yeah, I put flags on each end as well in the in the actual arena, that red and blue and that. So the middle bit's just like a neutral area. It's just like a neutral bit, or something. Yeah, I just thought that the trees look I'd like it added something to it, and that I thought, oh, that looks cool. I tried to get more in, but you know, because when you put structures down, it doesn't appear in that, does it? So no. This is a cool bit, the middle bit, and I like that middle bit. What I've done, like where you can, it's like a snap. Where, where the, where the uh, stairs going up on these sides. It looks really awesome in the middle, with, with stairs going up on the sides and that. I sort of put it so that it looks like you can like, hide and in spot. I've got windows as well, so you can shoot out as well. And so there we go, guys. That is a quick look at Nick's amazing arena and build. Thank you, Nick, so much. Check me out for more art oh, no worries, tours. Mate. And if you've got any more bases, let me know. Send me the screenshots. Until then, bye-bye.